chairing this session. So I'm honored to introduce so one of my uh, long time uh, friends from uh, Shanghai, uh, Professor Min Hua Chang. Uh, let me introduce him uh, very briefly. He is uh, one of the uh, leaders, especially in uh, minimal invasive surgery in China and also in, uh, in Asia. We started laparoscopy uh, together when it's, uh, about 25 years ago. Uh, he is currently the professor of surgery and director of Department of General Surgery, uh, Department of GI Surgery, Luijin Hospital, Shanghai, uh, Jiao Tong University School of Medicine. Uh, he will give us uh, a talk on his uh, uh, career in uh, minimal invasive surgery and as well as the perspectives, the personal perspectives of uh, uh, laparoscopic surgery. Uh, Mino? Hey, hello. Are you ready? Uh, Professor Chow. Long time no see. Uh, Long yeah, time no see. How are you? <laughs> uh, I'm in Shanghai uh, now. It's a lockdown. It's a lockdown, uh, yeah. So I can't uh, stay at home now. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, please give big proud to uh, uh, Professor Cheng Minhua. Welcome. Uh, Korea and the China. Thank you very I'm much. Very very glad to and thanks to uh, invite me to attend the fifth Congress of uh, uh, Korean Society of Endoscopy and Laparoscopy Surgeon 2020 uh, joint symposium with the Chinese Society. Um, my topic today is uh, uh, just a review of 30 years and the perspective of laparoscopic correction surgery in China because next year is, uh, is 30 years of development of laparoscopic corrector surgery in China. Uh, this slide uh, show the disclosure. I have no personal or financial interest to declare. And this is uh, uh, 1991, the first laparoscopic sigmoidectomy by Morris Jacobs in the United States. And this first time uh, for the malignant tumor in the mini minimally invasive surgery uh, field, uh, just the very early beginning. My first uh, laparoscopic co uh, colectomy surgery in China uh, did in 1993. At that time, we don't know uh, any information from uh, the other the part of the world. But we have uh, the instrument, especially for staple and laparoscopic staple device, uh, donated by uh, charity uh, organization, institution. So, uh, Médecins Sans Frontières. Uh, because our hospital was a uh, former French uh, hospital, Catholic hospital. So we uh, receive, have received many uh, this kind of uh, instruments. So we did the first lab corrector surgery in China. And we have uh, published this uh, article uh, two years later with a six cases report, but not easy, uh, rejected by many uh, review, uh, many magazines. And this paper show our experience uh, <coughs> of six cases of uh, laparoscopic uh, sigmoidectomy and the uh, resection of the rectum. So you can see here the uh, uh, paper of uh, the patients. And that patients came to see me for the constipations uh, about eight years ago. So uh, a 80 years, the patient's age. So I did uh, for for her uh, uh, alio uh, rectal anastomosis uh, to solve his uh, uh, her uh, constipation problem. 
And uh, I just uh, show a little bit our uh, record tape at that time, the first cases, first case. So maybe it's not so clear, but uh, we digitalized 10 years ago. And we have difficult to find the recording machine. So you can see some damage of the videotape. So this is uh, a case of very early cancers. We uh, find the tumor using colonoscopy. And we use uh, scissors with cautery. At that time, there is no any idea of uh, uh, energy device. We use uh, very traditional open surgery and the laparoscopic surgery instrument with scissors, with grasper. And because we have uh, a stapling device from auto sutures, we transect the vessels using white touches. And others, you can see here, with a double so this uh, anastomous method until now the same and this is a picture I show you then at 98 at the very early stage I uh, do the uh, demonstrations uh, using harmonical scale. I think it's a very, very good instrument, a very good invention for our laparoscopic surgery. And we, I <coughs> review all the papers published from 1993 to 2000, uh, 2003, so we can uh, divide into three stage. First stage, 10 years, uh, just how I do it. So from uh, uh, 1993, first cases, until 1999, hand-assisted, and TME, and how to use harmonical scale. And uh, 2005, more and more uh, surgery did by Chinese surgeons because of the improvement of the vision of the laparoscopic device. And then we can see uh, the single port surgery and how to do a TME surgery, how to do a CME surgery, and with uh, many progress in uh, 30 years development. So technically, uh, 30 years development in colorectal surgery. I think, first of all, there's uh, improvement of uh, equipment, sure. But uh, technically, we find uh, a good approach because the medial to lateral and the codal and some of new technique, single port, notice, TAMIS, TEM, TATME, this uh, different uh, procedure performing. Uh, by Chinese surgeons. And also, uh, hybrid of laparoscopic endoscopic technique for the uh, big uh, benign tumor, uh, and also TME, CME, ISR. For the device, the vision system, we have actually HD, 4K, 3D, and the naked 3Ds. So this is 2012, the first 3D surgery for laparoscopic resection of low resection of the rectum in 2012. And uh, this is uh, a 4K uh, system uh, in, introduced in Chinese market. And uh, this is a 3D naked you know, uh, with Chinese company. And we uh, actually only operator can have uh, 
free of the glasses. Uh, but the others still need the glasses for 3D, uh, naked 3D. This is uh, a Chinese uh, uh, made, domestic made for the 3D and the 4K uh, Labrasca big uh, device. Uh, I think it's uh, a compar comparable uh, from imported device about 1995 uh, uh, compatible uh, with uh, imported. And since three years, we have uh, a lot of international exchange from the Western to Eastern and from China, Korea, and Japan surgeons. And uh, also we have uh, many uh, symposium uh, between two countries like this kind of symp joint symposium and also international meeting uh, Congress. Uh, this is Congress support by Johnson Johnson uh, with Professor King, King Sun Han. He uh, did a lot of uh, life surgery and the lecture in China. Uh, also, like many uh, Korean uh, senior uh, surgeons, uh, uh, did a lot of help in, from, uh, to the development uh, in China. This is uh, uh, in the early stage, early. Uh, uh, stage Professor Le Hua, Professor Okuda uh, uh, came to China many times uh, to show their lecture and uh, their technique, their skill. Uh, Professor Murson from uh, New York and also in uh, 20 or 30 years ago uh, came to China to uh, promote and uh, to uh, show their uh, technique. Uh, so I thanks a lot uh, their support. And this is an uh, International Correct Research Summit uh, in 2012. So we can see here many uh, Chinese, Japanese, and uh, Korean surgeons uh, in the collaborations for the development of corrector surgery. And for the big improvement is TME, described by Bill Hillary. Uh, for the open surgery, but introduced in China very earlier uh, for the laparoscopic uh, procedure. Uh, so we start because of improvement of our vision system, so we can, uh, uh, for uh, a good procedure, good operation, we need uh, to, to uh, acknowledge uh, very well the anatomy of, uh, of the surgery of the patient, so we should uh, preserve the nerve. So this uh, picture shall show how uh, the anatomy uh, show you how to preserve the nerve, to preserve the function of the rectum. And as uh, uh, big issues, how to preserve in the sphincter function, uh, the anus. So, uh, except everybody know the low relaxation re anterior section of the rectum is uh, become a routine technique, but for very special uh, uh, early cases or big benign disease, we have uh, some uh, technique to preserve the uh, rectum uh, to preserve the anus. For example, in the twenty years ago, we published the prolapsing technique. Uh, perhaps the patients and uh, using a stapler, we can make sure the the uh, margin of the tumor. Uh, and also uh, we can make a coral anal anastomosis. Uh, and this is uh, ISR technique uh, using laparoscopic procedure and uh, with a Hansen system. And another uh, we uh, developed it the uh, uh, since a long time, the bacon uh, procedure. This is uh, an old technique, but uh, using uh, with laparoscopic area. Uh, I, I think it's a, it's a very good uh, technique to preserve the anus, uh, preserve the in, uh, sphincter function. So I show you just a, a small video clip. how to dissect, repress the harmonical. 
Harmonic is good for the uh, dissection, but still he can divide everything. But with the low rectal resection, I think uh, cautery is much better than others. With uh, contraction, we can show a very good low rectum dissection. And uh, in this area, I think uh, robotic surgery is also very good in this small, uh, very narrow uh, pelvic space. Uh, but still, we feel very comfortable in 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 this kind of uh, patients uh, with uh, very good uh, visions. But for some patients, very big organ uh, uh, tumors, maybe TATME is uh, uh, affordable for this uh, type of patients. But mostly my experience show uh, most of the patients we can did a very low rectum resection. We can divide it. You can see here very sharp dissection. Is cautery. Okay, I just to uh, show you a very small clip, and then we can see the specimen. Specimen uh, you can see here uh, about one point uh, five centimeters margins for the very low rectum uh, resection, and this uh, single port because first using uh, laparoscopic uh, uh, chrysectomy, appendectomy, and also other kind of technique, but mostly developed in the colorectal surgery, especially for sigmoidectomy. So we use a very, uh, started 15 years ago, a single port surgery, and uh, using different uh, approach, instrument, and but still now become very small part uh, uh, in our practice because uh, uh, multiple port is not a very uh, a big trauma. Uh, so with a big set of laparoscopic TME surgery, so uh, he can decrease very well the uh, local recurrence. Uh, by only surgical pr the technique. So Professor Hockenberg from Germany, he published and described when technique is complete me mesocolic excision and essential ligation, and uh, published very uh, good results in these patients. Uh, he came to China uh, more than, I think, 10 years ago, uh, maybe more than 10 years ago, and the show uh, his good results and the technique for the open surgery. Uh, but Chinese surgeon, we uh, started to understand the theory, understand the procedure, and uh, using a uh, laparoscopic approach. Only problem is how to track well the uh, columns. So uh, with the development of the technique, now the CME uh, technique laparoscopically has become the routine. So this uh, picture show you how to uh, do a CME surgery with central ligation and lymph node uh, dissection. Uh, this is a uh, uh, specimen picture that's described by Hockenberg how to uh, do uh, uh, appropriate the CME procedure with the specimen. Uh, ligation, D2 or D3, it's uh, very controversial uh, from, uh, between Japanese surgeons and the Western surgeons. Western surgeons, they think T D2 uh, it's enough, 
and with a specimen uh, complete meso uh, colic. So this is our laparoscopic uh, uh, resection uh, specimen, uh, fully uh, uh, complete uh, mesorectal uh, excision. So you can see the specimen. So this is a CME and the DD3, uh, not very big difference, uh, not uh, just a little bit uh, difference from the technique. And uh, also, sure, D3 dissection, uh, especially focus on the uh, lymph node dissection, but this, uh, for the complete mesorectal, uh, mesocolic is uh, similar, I think. And also, uh, this is a difference from CME D3. Uh, for CME surgery, two in all cases. For D3 cases, so stage two and the stage three cases. Uh, uh, and uh, for the ligation of the vessels and number of lymph nodes, uh, difference. So this is uh, the paper show the difference. So for the CME, uh, more comprehensive. Uh, include the remove of the next vascular arcade beyond the 10 cm margin compared to D3, uh, more large uh, specimen. And I think this CME is uh, help us to, to uh, very comprehensive and uh, understand, understood the anatomy to improve our uh, surgical technique, especially laparoscopic resection. A technique with the CME procedure now it's become very very standard uh, technique for right uh, hemicolectomy uh, or left hemicolectomy in China. So this is uh, uh, how to uh, do. Uh, just we describe this technique like how to eat a crab in China. Uh, you can make very very good dissection and uh, uh, remove all the uh, so we just a uh, uh, small video no, no sure so this is uh, I passed uh, very well how to uh, do a lymph node resection with the CME uh, technique so you can see here after complete video approach using CME technique, we can understand how to dissect a sclate the vessels uh, uh, with the trunk expansions and how to get a very good resection. So with uh, this technique, you can uh, very well understood the, the understand the anatomy and how to do it and safely. And uh, this is a lateral to major approach. You can see the white hair. So, medial to lateral approach. The, this is our uh, clinical research on how to uh, do a different approach. can see here how to do a scalating the vessels, the head of pancreas, and preserving the, all the measles. And uh, with, uh, there is some variant of the approach. So we start from the root of mesontic of uh, ileum, the caudal approach. This is uh, also uh, with caudal approach, we can see uh, the divide the, the colon first, and then go to the vessels. This is a medial to approach. So different approach can bring us uh, different visions, and also I think it's uh, similar. Uh, no big difference with uh, a different approach, but it uh, depends on surgeons. If he familiar with one of the approach, he can do uh, the good procedure dissection.
and so we can see how this is a lymph node dissection we can see the approach of uh, from head to hybrid have the medial to lateral approach. And we also in China since 10, last 10 years, we develop a lot of uh, uh, clinical research. Uh, and uh, this is a color, color three in China. Uh, that means TATME. Uh, a few days ago, we celebrated uh, more than 400 cases, uh, including this uh, 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 clinical trial uh, by Professor Bunjo uh, and in this. Uh, also, we have uh, published many guidelines, clinical guidelines. To uh, This is the name of the guideline and the consensus. To, and also, TATME platform. Uh, since uh, three or four years, become very hot technique, but still in clinical trial, and many uh, many product in China to develop this kind of technique, and also now in China many uh, Chinese company develop the uh, robotic surgery. The so first of all is laparoscopic assist robotic arm in invest investigation. Also, uh, or a similar product with intuitive surgery, a robot, the French. And uh, we founded the Great China Labrasco Rector Institute to teach and uh, train the many Chinese surgeons in this field. And uh, this uh, uh, many uh, meetings, Congress platform uh, to, uh, to develop this uh, uh, laparoscopic corrector surgery. And we also, for the young generations, uh, some League of Eastern Asian uh, with uh, young surgeons, the next generation uh, come out uh, in this field. So we have many uh, center of excellence, many small symposium, exchange, and many uh, improvement of the technique and the vision system. Many uh, published papers in China, also uh, TME, TME, Color 3 in China, many publications for the uh, surgical technique, notice TATME, TAMIS, anatomic concepts, single port, robotic surgery, and uh, Suddenly, uh, COVID-19, uh, the pandemic uh, came, uh, came also uh, in some influence in China. And since uh, more than two years, we have uh, some impact on this uh, 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 pandemic. So now in Shanghai, we uh, also have some lockdown. Uh, uh, since uh, several days. So uh, we have to think the next uh, uh, decade. Uh, I think first of all is uh, innovation for the instrument and the device and also uh, the surgical procedure and also revolution of the technique with some uh, uh, AI imaging uh, progress and uh, new uh, technology will lead us to go to the future. And also, I hope the gen, uh, next generation, especially young surgeon, will find a more appropriate and more future for the laparoscopic corrective surgery. Uh, thank you again for uh, every uh, senior professor and expert from China and from Korea. And uh, thank you for your help to uh, the development of the 30 years uh, laparoscopic corrector surgery uh, in China. Also, thank you for give us this platform uh, to have some uh, uh, good friendship between our two countries, two uh, society. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much, uh, Professor Chang. Uh, <clears throat> as you said uh, uh, in your presentation, you started almost 30 years ago for started laparoscopic uh, colorectal surgery. So could you give us the information about the current status of a minimal invasive surgery in China, the penetration of a laparoscopic surgery for colon or rectal cancer? Okay, uh, I did my first uh, laparoscopic sigmoidectomy uh, 30 years ago, and uh, now uh, I, I think the most big city, big teaching hospital, uh, about 90% penetration of laparoscopic uh, and uh, robotic surgery in this field. But most uh, 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 me media-sized uh, hospital, I think more than 50%. Now more and more patients uh, concentrate to the big center. So it become uh, every center, I think in China, for example, in Shanghai, uh, most 10 biggest hospitals have, uh, each hospital have about 2,000 cases a year. So uh, technically, I think many young surgeons can acquire this uh, uh, laparoscopic technique easily because of most cases. But the lack of uh, our, uh, uh, in this field, is uh, clinical research. The, how to uh, give the results, give the, the evidence to, to our uh, consensus. This is our biggest problem. Okay, any question from the floor, please? No, uh, we have a limited time, so time is up. So a lot of things we want to uh, hear from you, but uh, I must say I, I have to close this session. And before closing this session, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I hope the lockdown in Shanghai is relieved very soon and we can meet each other face to face the very soon again. Thank you very much, yeah. Professor Cheng Yes, I hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.